Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. It's the uh, end of July. I'm not sure when this video is going to come out because I'm about to hit the road for uh, a tour over in Europe at Whitechapel. I mean, hell, by the time this video comes out, I might already be back. It might be the end of August. I might be doing even newer videos. But at any rate, we're going to do this beer now, and it'll come out sometime. I'm sure you didn't care about anything I just said. So, about a month ago, I guess it'll be by the time this comes out again, I did a short, on a little short unboxing. And if you saw that, you saw this glass right here. Super awesome glass. So if you don't know, back in the middle of July, went up to Canada to the 2024 brew tubers get together. Awesome time, met a lot of great people, a lot of legendary brew tubers, people I've been following for a while. People I've been watching since before I even started my own channel. And Rod J was one of the guys that was up there. And after we all got home, he asked for our addresses. And lo and behold, this is what comes in the mail. A really cool glass. It's got his logo on the front, Rod J Beer Ventures. And on the back here, it says 2024 Beer Tuber Get Together Special Edition Glass. And that is just really cool. I mean, this is an awesome glass. This will probably be the only time I ever use it because I tend to break glasses when I'm washing them. And I don't want to break this glass. I want to put this up in the cabinet with my special glasses so people can see them because it's just too much too cool of a glass for me to risk breaking it but i am going to use it for this review and hopefully when i clean it i don't break it with all that being said let's get into the beer what i have for you today is southern cream ale from blackburn beer company and this is out of niagara falls i believe and this is one of those beers that was in the fridge at the brew tuber get together and I don't have any idea who put it in there because there was quite a few people from that general region. So it could have been Shane. It could have been the Alkanauts. Uh, it could have been off the 10th. It could have been any number of people. So whoever, whoever put it in the fridge, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to tag you in the uh, description once this comes out. And thank you to whoever put it in the fridge. So on the back here, it says brewed by Blackburn, Niagara Falls, established 2020. Ontario, Canada. Wow, that's a terrible time to establish a brewery. Can you imagine establishing a brewery in 2020 in the middle of the pandemic? Surprised this place even survived with all the nonsense going on. And even though this is some nice writing, green on yellow, I'm going to bust out my flashlight just to make it easier for me to read because the lighting from behind me is not the best. So this says uh, independent craft brewery uh, product of Canada, 5% alcohol, it's just beer. Cream ale, it's probably been a while since you've had a cream ale, that's for sure. If so, welcome back. We brewed this refreshing style as a nod to warmer days, afternoons on our patio, and bright orange sunsets. This ale is deep gold in color and has a hint of earthy hops on the nose with a soft, malty body. Exceptionally smooth and balanced, this beer finishes with a hoppy crispness that begs for another sip. We raise a glass to the versatility of cream ale, and no, this has no cream in it. Enjoy. It contains barley, and has their website, black, blackburnbrewhouse.com. Not anything else on the can. It's, it's a plain can, but it's kind of cool. City of the Falls. I mean, it's kind of a cool looking can for being a plain can. I can't remember the last time I had a cream ale. I think a cream ale, cream ales are an underrated style. They're just nice, light, refreshing beers. And I wish more breweries would do them because that would make beers like this are, are more approachable to the average drinker. And you would attract a lot more people to your brewery doing beers like this. And I would assume these are also generally cheaper to brew so you can sell them for cheaper. So an untapped, this gets a 3.8, but there was only 25 check-ins. Nothing on Beer Advocate, obviously, when there's only 25 check-ins on untapped. That's just filling the Rod J glass nicely. Put some head on there. Let's get a nose on her. A little bit of maltiness to it. I'm not getting much else off of there. Maybe a little nuttiness, maltiness. But there's not much there in the nose. I didn't expect there to be much in the nose. And that's just a nice looking beer. I mean, it's almost see-through, kind of a, you're approaching the amber side of, of the color chart there, 
the SRM chart. Probably give that about a seven. Just a nice looking beer and that nice, awesome glass. Big white head that's just sitting around there, not going anywhere. Kind of soap bubbly. And I'm ready to take a drink. Thank you very much, Rob, for the beer glass. Thank you all for watching. Cheers, everybody. I didn't realize how thick this glass is, so I took a mouthful. That is a nice, hefty, thick glass. I'm so used to using my thinner beer glasses, I was surprised about that. This beer, smooth, on the higher edge of light bodied, some maltiness. There's actually a little bit of nuttiness in there, like slight, slight nuttiness. No, no real bitterness whatsoever. It's just easy drinking. It does almost have a creamy mouthfeel. Almost. But this is nice. This is a nice, this would be a nice late summer, early fall beer. There's nothing real big and bold in the flavors. There's nothing you're just going to sit there and get tired of in the flavors. You could sit on a porch. I can, I can imagine sitting on a porch in the evening in one of the nice rocking chairs from like Cracker Barrel, chucking down a few of these beers. This is a nice, nice beer. If this is a beer that I could get here, this would go in the just drinking beer, crushing beer section in my fridge. Like I said, easy, light, easy drinking beer. Enough flavor there that you know you're drinking something nice. You know you're drinking a beer, but not enough there to like get tired of a, tired of real quick. Because you know, like some of these IPAs, some of these other beers, even sours, even like stouts, beers that are like a big favorite style of mine. You get tired of drinking them. You can have a few, and then you just want something else because it's just too much. This I could drink all night. This is definitely a horns up. This beer glass is definitely a horns up. Rod J is definitely a horns up. If you don't know who he is, please go check him out. I'll link him down below. This beer is awesome. Uh, whoever brought it to the BrewTubers get together, please let me know down below in the comments so I can link you in the description. And as always, embrace the adventure.